Good morning. Welcome to today's milestone in the continuing educational ministry that began at Chatfield in 1845. Our commencement exercises will begin with an opening prayer offered by Th Father Thomas Bolte, pastor of St. Angela Marici Parish and St. Michael Parish. And it is a privilege to be here. I'm glad to be here. I'm also a member of the Board of Trustees. And again, this is such a time-honored institution. And so asking God to be with us is always so important. Let us place ourselves into the presence of our loving God, giver of all blessings. Let us quietly think, close, take a moment of quiet prayer. Loving, glorious God, we praise and thank you for your goodness in bringing us together today to celebrate the milestone in the lives of these graduates. Abundant, gentle God, we praise and thank you for your generous blessings and gifts to us. We thank you for the Chatfield College 2021 graduates who are, have been nurtured, stretched, <laughs> and empowered to better themselves their employability, and their futures. We praise you, God, for these students who have worked so hard to achieve their potential. They've shared their gifts with others and contributed to the good of this learning community. We now ask you, God, to bless this gathering of students, staff, parents, family, and friends. In your loving care, O oh God, be mindful of those who have gone before us those who have supported us in this educational institution and all who have journeyed with us. Be in our midst to strengthen and support us as we celebrate the accomplishments of each graduate. We ask this in the name of Jesus, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let's be seated. Thank you, Father Tom. Uh, next, I'm pleased to introduce Chatfield's president, Robert Elmore, who will offer a few words of welcome. Welcome, graduates, family, friends, trustees, and guests. I'm honored to participate in recognizing your outstanding accomplishment earning your Associate of Arts degree. This will be one of the momentum, memorable days of your life and we congratulate you for reaching this milestone. This ceremony is significant for two reasons. Number one is you are the 50th graduating class of Chatfield College. And secondly, you did this during a COVID pandemic uh, that was worldwide and it, you didn't let it disrupt your plan. So I wanna give you a round of applause for those two accomplishments. Your determination, hard work, and the support you received from others helped you overcome all the challenges you faced during your educational journey with us. Therefore, you are deserving of this ceremony, recognizing your accomplishment. Our desire is to provide you with the best experience possible, and so a professional video recording is being produced and available for viewing to the public later this month. So welcome, and let's proceed with the ceremony. Thank you, Bob. Uh, today we also honor the heritage and faith that are the foundation of Chatfield College. I'd like to invite Garrett Willey and Courtney Fraley to the platform to share readings with us that celebrate the universal values of love, thanksgiving, and fellowship. Garrett. This is a reading from the letter of letter to the Emphysians. May Christ dwell in your hearts through faith and may charity be the root and foundation of your life. Thus you will be able to grasp fully with all the holy ones, the breadth and length and height 
and depth of Christ's love and experience this love which surpasses all knowledge so that you may attain the fullness of God himself to God whose power now at work with us can do immeasurable more than we can ask or imagine. To God be glory in Christ Jesus through all generations. Thank you, Garrett. Uh, Courtney Fraley will be reading from the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I'd like to ask Father Tom to, to come forward uh, to lead us in the blessing of the graduates. And those two scripture readings are so powerful and so wonderful as you go forward to live it, and that is so important. And so I would ask everyone to please stand for the blessing of our graduates. Now to express a blessing is to pray for a person or a group of people so they will experience the love and care of our gracious God. And so I invite you to respond with the phrase, Lord, hear our prayer. And so, May the patient endurance of Julia Chatfield and her companion, the Ursulines, who began this community, be yours as you move into future endeavor and challenges. We ask, Lord, hear our prayer. May the gift of courage modeled by Julia Chatfield enable you to live a life of respect, integrity, and justice. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May you, our graduates, be peacemakers in your families and in the world, building bridges among people and among nations. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. May you live the legacy of Chatfield College by continuing to learn, grow, and succeed in this changing world. We ask, Lord, hear our prayer. May God's generosity surround the families, friends, faculty, and staff who have supported you in your journey, and may you follow their example of care and concern for others. We ask, Lord, hear our prayer. And may the steady light of the Holy Spirit, the wisdom God give you, may you remind every day of God's love for you and use your talents, we ask, Lord, hear our prayer. You may be seated. Thank you, Father. Let me again invite to the podium Chatfield's president, Robert Elmore, who will introduce our graduation speaker. I would like to introduce to you today's commencement speaker, Mrs. Maureen Kiley. Maureen is a behavioral therapist and currently serves as a family and community engagement liaison for the Brown County Educational Service Center. Maureen has a long history with Chatfield. She earned her Associate of Arts degree from Chatfield in 1988. While studying for her degree, she worked as a receptionist and then as a reading instructor in Chatfield's Learning Center. Mrs. Kiley earned a Bachelor of Liberal Arts degree 
from Xavier University and a Master of Arts in Pastoral Counseling from the Anthenaeum of Ohio. She has been committed to serving others throughout her career. In the early part of her career, she worked for the YWCA House of Peace Domestic Violence Shelter to develop her, their first children's program. Through her hard work with Child Focus, she worked with Brown County officials in obtaining grants to help make services for children and families in Brown County more secure. Maureen and her husband, Denny, have been deeply involved with Chatfield for many years. Maureen currently serves on our Board of Trustees. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Maureen Kiley. Good morning. What a beautiful event. I better put my glasses on. Graduates, families, faculty, staff, trustees, friends of Chatfield College, I am honored and pleased to be speaking to you today. I'll speak about being, <clears throat> pardon me, prepared, making decisions, having mentors, and a strong support system. Hasn't this been an especially challenging and stressful year for everyone? I believe we all have pandemic fatigue. Our experiences over the last year and a half are similar, but different for each of us. Many of us craved community and connection. Many of you may have been working through obstacles to earn this degree even before the pandemic. You all made decisions to continue your education in the midst of the pandemic and uncertainties of life. We're here today as you receive your diploma to witness and celebrate your accomplishments. You've shown great strength in completing your work and you've made many difficult decisions already that have brought you to this point in your life. One lesson we may have learned <clears throat> from this pandemic is the need to be prepared. Yes, having enough toilet paper is important, but we know being prepared is more than that. Earning your associate degree is a part of that preparation. Your degree will open doors and present you with more opportunity. Being prepared is a great feeling, especially when you are presented with a new opportunity. A liberal arts degree prepares you with a critical thinking and problem solving skills that are important to an employer. But even more so, this knowledge will enhance your understanding of the world as you face challenges throughout your life. It is great preparation. You may feel challenged and discouraged along your way. We all do. There were times in my life I felt challenged for sure. I believe you would be surprised if I told you of the many obstacles I had to overcome to earn my degrees. Remember that we learn from all of our experiences, the good and the bad. It's what we decide to do with all of those experiences that will matter to you in your future. All of your decisions will have an impact, not only on your life, but also on the lives of everyone around you. I had many mentors and friends who walked with me. Things can be challenging in our personal and work lives. Asking for help makes us human. I encourage you to find mentors and ask for help. Having support is important. One example, I married my husband, Denny, 25 years ago last month. Shortly after our wedding, I made a decision to go back to school for my pastoral counseling degree. His support was invaluable. It still is today. I encourage you to develop a strong support system. Graduates, Always remember your roots. As we look back on the history of Chatfield and the history of Brown County Earthlines, imagine the thoughts and feelings of that group of nuns who decided to leave their home in France. They traveled thousands of miles by boat and land for weeks, arriving on this land 176 years ago. Imagine the obstacles they faced and the decisions they had to make. They had to become self-sustaining as they relied on God and each other. 
the Ursulines were prepared, they had great mentors, or a great mentor, and a strong support system. This college, Chatfield College, exists today as a result of their faithful decision those Ursuline nuns made, as well as their faithful efforts over the last 176 years. Take a look around this chapel. The nuns helped carve the wood and build this building. Their work provided the foundation for your education. What beautiful decisions they made. I don't believe they could have made those beautiful decisions without preparation. A mentor and a strong support system. Chatfield College is the result of the Ursline mission and your education is the result of the continuing Chatfield mission. You're graduating with the mission of Chatfield College and the charism of the Earthlines embedded into your education. That mission and charism has served me well. I am grateful. It is my prayer and expectation that they will continue to serve you well too. In closing, today you carry a legacy of all those who have walked this land. Be thankful for those who have gone before you and those who have walked with you. They all struggled and persevered using their gifts and talents. They were given just as I know all of you have done and will continue to do in the future. As you prepare to receive your diploma today, you, we hope you will remember to keep in touch. You will always have a friend at Chatfield. You are always welcome here. Chatfield College, class of 2021. You made it. I made it too. Congratulations. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you. Thank you. For over 100 years, Phi Theta Kappa has been an international honor society for leadership and academic achievement. Phi Theta Kappa requires students to maintain a minimum of 3.5 GPA during their career at Chatfield College. Students in Phi Theta Kappa proudly wear their pins and gold and blue honor cords at commencement. Will the graduating members of the Beta Omicron Eta chapter please stand and be recognized? Julia Chatfield Honor Society was founded in 2003 to recognize graduates who have exemplified the commitment to community and education that was held so dear by Julia Chatfield, foundress of the Ursulines of Brown County and namesake of Chatfield College. Many of us have a quote from St. Angela Marici somewhere in our office or tucked into a notebook that inspires us to do our best for each other and for our students. It goes as follows. Do something, get moving, be confident, risk new things, pray to God, then be ready for big surprises. The following students have certainly lived up to these standards during their time here. Will the following students stand and be recognized? Tyler Conley, Courtney Fraley, Elizabeth Hendra, Adeline Morgan, Miranda Seward. Let's congratulate these students. <clears throat> We're all proud to have inducted you into Ch Chatfield College's highest honor society. Your admission into the Julia Chatfield Honor Society is not one that we take lightly. Your academic achievements and your community-oriented spirit 
have inspired your fellow students as well as the staff, faculty, and wider Chatfield community during your time here. You've lived these words. I and the wider Chatfield community are confident that you will continue to do great things. We also have a Distinguished Student Award. The Julia Chatfield Distinguished Student Award was established to recognize a graduate at each campus based on nominations submitted by the faculty and staff. In addition to a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher, the student must exhibit the determination of Julia Chatfield by turning obstacles into opportunities. Be friendly, inclusive and supportive in dealing with others and display leadership qualities. This year's recipient has exhibited all of these qualities during their time at Chatfield. She has been involved in student leadership and campus activities while balancing a rigorous academic load with work. She also provides support to younger students, taking them under her wing and helping them feel included in the Chatfield life. One instructor echoes this, saying she exhibited both creativity and enthusiasm for learning. I would like to present this year's Julia Chatfield Distinguished Student Award to Ms. Miranda Seward. Miranda, please stand. And Miranda, if you would also come forward. Courtney Fraley. The 
day of graduation has finally arrived, and although I am excited and filled with joy, I am sad to say goodbye to Chatfield. I will miss this beautiful campus and all the wonderful instructors and faculty members who have supported me through this stage of my journey. I hope it gives them great pride, knowing that all their efforts have pushed me to continue my education and giving me the courage and confidence to set new goals and aim for the sky. I am attending Mount St. Joseph for business marketing, and I would like to thank everyone who has helped me through the rough patches and celebrated with me during my achievements. Thank you. 
community here is so incredibly helpful and kind, which is so refreshing to be around, and one of the reasons I don't dread going to classes as a college student. I have made several friends here, that I hope, and I hope to keep them all as I continue on with my college career. I would like to thank everyone who has helped and supported me through my time here at Chapel. When I first started at Chatfield, I was a bit nervous, but with the help from the incredible staff here and the persistent drive of my parents, I stand before you today as a college graduate, and for that I thank you. I'm so excited to start my new adventures and experiences after Chatfield, see new sights, meet new people, and experience different cultures. However, while I'm on these endeavors, I will never forget where I came from, or all the experiences and people that I met here. So, to everyone that I have struggled with, laughed with, and interacted with, you will not be forgotten. Uh, 
uh, we'll process out and go to the front of the library. There will be a group photograph there, and that's a great location for additional photographs. So if you would all follow us after after we process out of the chapel, that would be um, a wonderful job. What a wonderful event. We deserve so much celebration. And so, for our benediction, please stand. Loving God, we ask your blessing upon these graduates, their families and friends, as they move into the future, empowered by the accomplishments their diploma represents. Through your bounty, God, may they know harmony in all of their relationships. May they give and receive love generously. May they daily open the gift of their life and express gratitude for the treasure it holds. May they have energy and vitality. Loving God, bless them with a clear vision of what is good and true. May your patience with them be the inspiration for their patience with others. God of peace, travel with them through life easing their fears, doubts, and confusion. And may your peace support those who are troubled or anxious. May the Holy Spirit and the example of St. Angela, Marici, and Julia Chatfield energize these graduates to follow your advice and inspiration so they may carry out what you lay in their hands to do. We ask this prayer, this benediction, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit among us, now and for all ages, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.